I'm Suzanne and I'm going to demonstrate how to use Gliffy.com, which is a web-based graphic software tool that can be used to create diagrams. Some of the diagrams you can create are, for example, a business chart, a website, or a flowchart. I'm over here creating a floor plan for a library space. I've already started the document and I'm going to show you how to make changes to it. I go over here to the left where it says floor plan and click on that. And this gives me options for shapes that I might want to use in my document. If I want to say, for example, include a plant in my floor plan, I would grab that plant with my cursor, drag it, and drop it into my document. And it's that simple. If I want to make it larger or smaller, I can do that also with my cursor, just by pulling on it here. And I can also rotate it with this little arrow by pulling that. And it's that simple. Depending on what kind of document you're creating, you'll use different shapes. For a flowchart, you might use some of these shapes. For a user interface diagram, you might use some of these shapes, and so on. You can also add images to your document using My Images, where you can upload an image from your own computer, or using image, image Search, where you can search for a document or an image from the Internet. <coughs> you can also add text to your document by create, clicking on the Text tool, and dragging that to your document, clicking, and then it creates a little text box, and you can just type your text here. And it's that simple. Once your document is finished, you go up to File, pull it down, and save it. I've already saved it once, so it's just resaving as a new version of my old history of my old document. You can look over here on the right and see my revision history of all the revisions I've made to this document in the past. If I ever want to go back to an old version, I can just click on that old version and resave it, and that way I don't have to accept changes that I may not like. Once I've saved my document, I can also share it with others by publishing it. If I click on Publish Info, it'll give me the code that I can include in a blog or a wiki, for example. Or I can click on Collaborate and send emails to friends, inviting them to come to Gliffy.com, sign in, and for free work on the same document that I've been working on. So that's how you use Gliffy.com. If you come to my uh, blog and listen to the podcast I created on this same website, you'll get a lot more detail. So go to cooltoolslibrary2.blogspot.com and look for the podcast on Gliffy.com. Thank you.